This is Haley, also known as The Makeup Girl on Instagram and Facebook. I am here today to do a product review of five new products that I got from the new JLo Inglot collaboration. I am using her blush, her bronzer, her lip gloss, her eyeshadow, and the lashes. So if you would like to see how these products go on and how they work, in my opinion, then please keep on watching. Okay, so first things first, I picked out five different items from the new JLo collection with Inglot to try out. So these are the things that I picked out. First we have, this is the blush in the shade Freedom System. So I thought it was nice because I'm kind of like a pinky, corally type of person, so. This goes well for my skin color. Then I got the, this is the bronzer in the shade Coco. So I'm gonna try that. I already kind of contoured with the cream Anastasia stick, but I'm gonna go over it with this and see if you could use it just as bronzer or bronzer and contour. Then I got this eyeshadow and I got a simple one. It's called Honey and I got that because I wanted something that you could just do really quickly all over the lid and something that was simple. It has a little bit of shimmer to it. Then the lip gloss I got is this guy. It is Peach Pearl and I thought it was the prettiest shade that was available. So we're going for more of a glowy, bronzy, summery, natural look. And then last but not least, the False Lashes. And I believe these were the only style available, so I'm not sure. They're actually split, if you can see. Um, there's a split in the middle so you could just use them on the outer or inner or both whatever you feel like doing so I'm probably just going to use them on the outer today since we're keeping a little more natural glowy summery okay. so first things first in my honest opinion I don't know how I feel about it coming in these little plastic things because you can't even flip them open there's actually scissors on them so you have to cut them so I don't know if that is just standard for Inglot or what the deal is, but that is my first opinion. Not saying that's a bad thing, um, but let's get these open. Okay, so I got them all taken out of the case. First, I'm gonna start off with the eyeshadow. So here it is, up close, you can see. Pretty, okay, so I'm just honestly gonna take, this is an Anastasia number 19 brush. It's just a fluffy shadow brush. I'm just gonna take it, pat it onto the brush. It's not coming off super easily, but let's find out what it looks like. So now I'm just gonna take that and layer it on the lid. I don't see like a huge difference, but it is a nice nude color. So if you're going for natural, which is what we're going for, let's do the other eye. You know, it's super subtle, but I'm not mad about it. It's nice. It kind of just blends into my skin tone. But, you know, it's good for an everyday. I feel like you could just use your finger and swipe over. I'm just going to add a little to the bottom. Okay, so pigment-wise, it went on pretty easily. I had to drag my brush onto it a few times, but I think that's pretty common with a lot of eyeshadows. So the color payoff is really subtle. It looks kind of glistening nude, so if that's what you're into and you want something super subtle but just a little oomph, I would highly recommend this because I've honestly never seen a color that was so close to my eye skin color, I guess. Um, so this almost like just matches my skin perfectly and just adds a shine. So if that's what you're into, definitely swoop that. It is the Freedom System. I'm going to go in with my contour shade. And I got the shade Coco. So now I'm just going to get that, tap it off, off the brush. That's pigmented. Oh yeah. Definitely pigmented. 
I really do like the color. It's really warm. I'm obviously going to blend it out so it's not so stripy, but let's try the other side before I do that. It's very warm, so I probably wouldn't use it as a contour shade. Usually I use a little more ash tones for contour and then kind of slightly warm it up with bronzer. This is definitely more of a bronzer, which is what it's supposed to be. I just wanted to see if I could use it for both. I mean, I do like the color a lot, actually. So this, this is a yes for me. Okay, I went ahead and buffed some of that out off camera, and I really like this color actually. So now I'm going to go in with the blush. Freedom system. Okay, so now I'm going to take an Anastasia 20, A23 brush and go in with the blush and see how pigmented this thing is. Okay, it went onto the brush really easily, so let's check this out. Whoa. That is pigmented, <laughs> so that's okay because blush wears off the fastest, so I'm not even mad. Let's do the other side. I actually really love this color. I think it's super pretty. I usually dust just a smidge of blush across my nose just to kind of all blend it together. Okay, obviously this is trying things out so you don't have to do it as intense as I just did, but I'm just gonna work it out. We're just gonna go with it. So now, since I'm already holding this Jeffree Star um, highlight as my mirror, I'm just gonna add a little highlight on top so you could see what it would look like with some glow. I really like it. I'm digging it. I'm digging the colors. The bronzer and the blush are my favorite so far, so I'm totally digging it. So now I'm going to do the lashes. I'm just going to do half on the outer skirts of my lashes so you could see what that would look like. And then I'm going to run some mascara through it to make it blend together. Okay, I am stoked on these lashes. They are so fluttery. All I did was added the corner ones. I just used my Ardell Black Lash Glue. And then I put them on there. I curled my lashes and I used the NYX Worth the Hype mascara and I just blended it in and I freaking love how they look. They look super fluttery and like doe eyes. I'm a huge fan. A plus on the lashes, JLo Inglot. So last but not least, I'm going to do the lip gloss. I usually don't wear lip gloss, but Starting this summer, I'm gonna wear more lip gloss. I already lined my lips with a chart pencil. I forget the shade, but it's just a nude brown. So I'm just gonna go, ooh, so far it's super liquidy. And let's see what it looks like. So it definitely smells really good. I don't even know what scent this is something fruity or candy like the color is really nice it's a really opaque gloss kind of like the Anastasia ones they're super vibrant so that is also awesome it feels a little sticky maybe that's just because I don't wear lip gloss often but it is a little sticky but it's comfortable you could rub it around I'm really digging the color I feel so JLo bronzy glow you know, and it only took a few minutes. So basically, if you use this makeup, you will end up looking like JLo. I'm just kidding. Honest review, four to five, I would definitely use every day. The eyeshadow, maybe I got the wrong color, I'm not sure, but it didn't really do anything for me, but you should totally try it. All these products are pretty affordable. The eyeshadow wasn't expensive at all, I just don't really see a big payoff on me for it so use your best judgment bronzer blush absolute yes eyelashes absolute yes lip gloss yes i will get used to it because i don't usually wear lip gloss but like four out of five definitely bravo bravo jlo and inglot who put this together just from the few samples that i tried the blush and bronzer really just goes on like butter it's really high pigmented it looks like good quality i just wish it came in like a different packaging but maybe they're working on that i'm not sure but this is the 
final look. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial slash opinion slash demo of JLo and Inglot's new products. I really appreciate it. If you have any suggestions of what else you would like to see me review, please leave them down below. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to Banish Acne Scars channel. Also, follow me on Instagram and Facebook at The Makeup Girl with two E's. I am most frequently on Instagram, so if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to DM me. I'm open to anything. And thank you again so much for watching and thank you Banish for hosting this video for me. I had so much fun and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!